Hey guys, sp 3 here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So, this is going to be a little bit of a different one again. Kind of like how last time where my audio decided to not record. Um, I'm actually going to be recording um, a voiceover, basically. So, basically what I've done is um, getting out of that uh, Majula. We're going to get the other DLC key, if I remember correctly. If this is the one I'm thinking of. No, it's not this one. Never mind. Wrong video. <laughs> I am way ahead of myself. I had to do this for quite a few because apparently my audio decided to not record on any of them. But anyway, so looks like we went into the uh, tree memory. Oh, I remember this one. This is the one where we're getting um those uh, soul of a giant. That's what we're doing. I think this one was uh, the boss. Of the soul of the giant? Yep, it was this one. Everything's just kind of dying all around me, you know? <laughs> Whole lot of giants. Oh, yeah, the face. Quickly get out of that area. And it took a huge hit from that. Gonna do a quick heal, and I'm gonna run for it. Get the item. Fire seed. Ow. And back up on my feet. Giant Lord is mine. He's a heavier weapon, so I can do some ow, bigger damage. Gotta be careful, and I'm mostly healing with the natural essence. Cause he's kind of a slow boss. I can kind of take my time with this one. Ow. Then I switched out to my uh, lighter weapon, my, uh, my black sword? Or black katana? Or the Yujikage? I think it's Yujikage. I think that's in uh, Dark Souls 2. Anyway, so I use that to actually do my strikes on because it's a faster weapon and a little bit more reliable, I should say. Ow. <laughs> And then, um, still missed my hit there, but that's still okay. Didn't get me discouraged. So, we're gonna be, keep on fighting. There we go. He still hit me, but not. Oh, he hit me there again. Risky heal right there. Got him into a loop of just stomping his feet, so that should be very beneficial for me. Ooh, took a hit there, but not gonna take time to heal. Guess I got him right there. Then I decided to go back to kind of just pick up everything I miss. Take a huge hit from that one was expecting that. Can I top off my health so I can kind of just run back and see if I miss anything there. Still hate the fact that they're just still shooting. But, you know, war area. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Pick up all the items I can just before um, I leave, which... Where the boss was at is the door that I go to, which is where I go next, I believe. Just kind of do one last sweep of the area. Got burned a little, but that was fine. I keep on going. Yep, make my way downtown. Taking hits. <laughs> Almost dying right there, but that's fine. There we go. There it is. There we go. Soul of a giant. And then we examine. Then we get ourselves right on out of there. Now that was the fourth soul of a giant. And that one kind of took me by surprise for the sorcerer to come out here. 
And I didn't realize he hits me really hard there. So I had to be careful. And it seems like he was only doing one type of magic, so I kind of decided to go in for him. Plus, I didn't want to lose all my souls. <laughs> Got a new human effigy. Hey, we're gonna travel again. Looks like we're going back to Majula and we're gonna level up some. Sounds about right. I don't like that she keeps moving around. She moves around a lot, so it's hard to really say which is that. Alright, yeah, I'm on my fourth uh, giant soul. So there's one more that I would have to get. And I am slightly dreading on which on the next one I have to do. Cause it's gonna be a pain. The Giant's King ship will give me access to the throne room beneath the castle. This is the one where I'm talking about like trying to figure out all the items I have and realizing I only have two of the um uh DLC areas. And me talking about that that's for the Throne of Want. Which is basically where the end is. And I'll go to that yet. That's gonna probably come up after all the DLCs. Which, whenever that happens, I should say. <laughs> Kind of skip her dialogue because I already know what she says and all that. She says basically the same thing when you're trying to level up. Be able to get three levels from that amount of souls. Then I pop that. I think I use that to get another level. Yep, I do. Yeah, I was debating between strength or dex. Hmm. Excuse me. That's why I went with Dex. Thinking Dex would help out. A last soul. Um. What am I actually doing? I actually have no idea. Crush. I try to read things, I guess. I only guess figuring out what I where I go next or what to do. Cause I think I'm having a realization that I'm making my way to the end. So it's just like I gotta find anything else to do before I actually make it to the end. Like any side quest stuff and all that. Looks like I decided not to go with any other little side quests if there were any. And now I'm going to uh, the shrine entrance to the dragon. Is that's the next fight. Which, now I'm gonna be honest, it was a tough fight for sure, but it wasn't too terrible. I was kind of surprised by myself. It was a lot still, don't get me wrong, but not to the point of like death and I wanted to just leave it alone. These guys suck, though, on the other hand. Because <laughs> I died right there. And I didn't even have a chance to, like, counter or get away. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of the Souls stuff is 
like the lock on or their uh, excuse me their tracking is the worst because they can literally just track me all the time and hit me iframes were not with me on that day <laughs> Could have just gone for the souls. There we go. And it kind of lower him. There we go. Gotta make my way to actually get him. Oh. There we go. Took a risky uh, turn of events right there. Making sure I don't get attacked by those guys. Either I do attack him or I kind of just... Nope, I attack him. Because I didn't mention the last time I kind of like bolted past these guys. They just all of a sudden... Every... All the Dragonites decided to come after me. For some odd reason. So just as a precaution, I decided to kill these guys. I still don't know to this day how that missed. Glad he missed me on that uh, first swing. Previously, I did had a look up like where to go or where to find these dragon souls. So I want to get like the best ending possible of sorts, I should say. Although with souls, there's not really like a good or evil ending. But just to get all my options and like get everything I can in my first playthrough. Because I've never actually, I've mentioned this many times before, I've never actually been Dark Souls 2. I never actually played it all the way through. I get to a certain point and I kind of just give up, so I was very determined this time to actually beat it. And I'm um, slightly a completionist, so I wanted to like get everything I can. Pop the humanity. So I was trying to see if there was anyone I could summon nearby. But then I realized it was just those freaking wyverns just screeching across. So there's that. <laughs> anyway, go on forward. Get a little bit spooked that they're kind of just yeah, quickly, yeah, excuse me, quickly turning to me. So it's a little bit nerve wracking. Not too terrible. But we go in. This time I don't go in with a summon. I think it was because I thought there was going to be a summon out here. And then I prepped myself, get everything ready. Any kind of healing item I have, I just get it equipped. And I was going to use my spells. And I have my pine... Pine resin? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the gold pine resin. Yeah, that's a that's a lie. Here we go. The ancient dragon takes a lot out of you. Lightning buff on my sword. There we go. And that completely missed. Still don't know how that fire hits me.
I was also trying to learn his movesets because I have no idea how this boss is. And I realized I'm only doing 50 damage with lightning. Although I have like the basic lightning spear. So I was gonna try to poison him. The poison miss. It was hitting him. Just wasn't poisoning him. I think he's resistant to poison now I think about it. Didn't think about it back then, I can tell you that. Trying everything in my arsenal at least. And he goes back to do his fire again. Really close to uh, actually beating me right there. I think I actually uh, fall here. Nope, oh, not here yet. Almost. I was careless when I actually died the this attempt. Do remember that. Apparently, he's weak to magic. Who would have thought? I say weak to magic, but he only took 151 damage. It was very kind of inconsistent on like damage he was taking. But a quarter of his health on my first attempt at least. He has a lot of health. Then again, uh, mine says like, yeah, I can do this. I can beat him. I got this. But this is where I died. Yep. That's where my um, greediness just takes tenfold and just kills me right there. <laughs> I even admitted that I was just getting greedy from that spot. So then I decided to just pop a humanity, kind of just. Um, bolt rush my way. So I'm just ignoring everything I went up against. I was trying to see if there was anything else I can use. I should have just used the, um, uh, not the, uh, the bright bug. So my attacks were a little bit harder. I still have those bright bugs. I haven't used those. Probably gonna use those in the DLC area because it's not, it's tough. <laughs> I can tell you that. There's some spots that I can't believe are like that. So weird glitch that it did. Okay. I think I was looking through my stocks. See what I had. Anything in anything I could think of to help. That was a whole lot of nothing.
Then I realized I do have um, the Grey Line New Spear, but I, looks like I decided to hold against that for some reason. Looking through my other inventories, finding that I have some Twinkling Titanites, some Titanites. Heal it up again. Yeah, maybe it's not this attempt. Eh. And I miss. Really don't like that sword. I don't know why I keep using it. It's very inconsistent with hits. Then the one time that you hit, and I lose those souls that I had at the um, boss room. So now you can see the frustration on my face. I am very frustrated with that. So I'm pretty sure I kind of just made a bolt for it after this attempt. Either it was this one or the next one. It's one of those two. I'm already running, so it might be this attempt. Yep, it was this one. I basically just said, screw it. I don't care if they're all going to attack me right now. I'm going to kill their dragon anyway. Because I think what happens is they attack you regardless. Um, after you kill the ancient dragon. Oh, excuse me. But this one I had to kill because it will definitely stun lock me out of the door while I'm opening it. So I try to kill him at least. There we go. Pop the human effigy. Going back up the steps, I go. There's the fog wall for the boss arena now. Then I see uh, a summon. Had a little NPC help on this one. Best I can do. <laughs> so there wasn't any other signs around now, so like, why not? And it said it switched my tactic and go with uh, movable heals. And go with all spells in the beginning first. And I realize he's doing his fire breath. Never realized he had that a move. Didn't realize he just did that either. Because usually when he does that, he just flies up and does his fire breath. Which I think he's doing now. Yep. And I missed with that at mid force. I'm surprised he didn't have any heals on him. His tail is like a noodle. And then my NPC died. That was just me and the dragon.
fire breath. There's another fire breath, which is always weird. It does hit me right there. Oh yeah, I decided to change up my tactic and go for his back legs without knowing that he also has a stop attack. <laughs> yeah. And of course, me thinking I was out of his reach, he still got me and I was upset with that. Still upset with that to this day, you know? Trying to read its movements to decide what to do. But I'm getting farther. Almost got it to halfway. Very, very intense moment for me. Because <laughs> he's a tough beast, that's for sure. Doing okay so far, at least. I want to say I'm at halfway point right now. Then I started thinking, yeah, I got this. I got this in the bag. I have been thinking that I would get this. Definitely just took a lot out of me. A lot of that, though. Me going in for like three or five hits and running away from him. And I hate that he just got into like a lock of sorts. And just keep doing that attack. The RNG on that was just not with me today. Not on that day. Try to make him just go for that instead of trying to go swing, uh, fly up. I was more hoping for the um, breath attack, the fire breath, like that. So I can go right underneath it and just whack at it. There we go. Starting getting used to his uh, tell sign. Uh, tell. His tells, basically. Almost three quarters of the way.
There we go. Confidence is coming back a little bit more. It says I'm at um, three quarters, but his health was taken away. So we got a long way to go, though. Bowman hit in his nose. Didn't work. And I didn't realize that he flew a little bit farther ahead of me to blow fire breath at me. Kind of caught me off guard on that front. Try for the snoot again. Got hit right there. at a bad timing for healing and I got a fix very 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 close of killing him I was sort of thinking to myself, maybe two or three more times of that, and I can get him. And then I realized one more time, it's all it needs. Up off a heel. Let's go running for it. So one more hit is all he needs. Is what I was thinking to myself, and I was ready for it. Make my way for that charge. And boom. Probably one of the tougher bosses to go up against, and he's an optional boss. Very surprising on that one. Kind of hoping that there was a bonfire that was just there. I know I wasn't going to try that. That, uh, excuse me, that note that was on the uh, ground. There's no way I was going to do that. And I also knew as soon as I walk out that door, they'll all be on me. So I decided to use uh, um, a homeward bone to get myself out of there. Then I go back to Majula. These are my souls to level up. And this is just mostly me just trying to debate on what to do with all those souls I got. Because I only do it twice. And I decided to go with Adapted Intelligence. Was so I going to actually buy some of her? No, it wasn't. Because she doesn't have Bright Puck anymore. Pretty sure, I, yeah, I went back to um, try to actually um, upgrade my stuff, I think. Yeah. See if there was anything stronger than what I had.
Oh, so I did actually do that. I actually didn't remember that. Did I get that all the way to plus 10? No, I did not because I was missing chunks. Okay, that makes more sense. So I get those out of there. Then that was basically the end of that journey. I think I do talk about where I'm gonna go next. I think I was gonna try to figure out where that uh, bonfire was, which I still haven't unlocked. <laughs> I still gotta figure out about how to get that. But basically, I'm talking about I had to go to the end of the crypt, and that would be for the next one. I'm gonna check those videos ahead after this one to see if I do have to do voiceovers for this. But all in that, that's it. Hope you guys actually enjoy the video. Sorry for the weird voiceover. See y'all next time. Bye.